and cars. Yeah, I mean, buying cars. Mm -hmm. You know, as a consumer advocate, 30 years here, taking calls, calls, calls. That's probably one of the biggest ones oh, that you get. It isn't is it? absolutely the number Whether one. Whether it's a new car or a used car. Number one complaint: buying cars or selling cars mm -hmm. or cars, 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 cars. <laughs> Uh, number two, homes, home improvements, but cars. Yeah. It's a fearful process. People hate it. Mm -hmm. What does the average American spend? All right, so according to the automotive researchers, uh, they have found that the average American spends 22 hours, <laughs> 22 hours trying to research and shop for a new car. Yep. But uh, only about 5% of them are going to actually walk onto a car lot and buy something. After all that time and energy, only 5% go onto a car lot and, and drive a, a, one of those cars home. So what if you could actually save all of that time and energy and not go to the dealerships at all? And do, you know, have basically someone well, do all that work for you. And we have someone yeah. who does that, okay? And we're going to find out how right now. Here it is. Well, everything looks great, but I'm a bit concerned about this dark mass here. Isn't that my heart? Well, normally, yes, but you said you sell used cars, which means you don't have a heart. The heartless car dealer. It's a comical stereotype, but one that Lori Holden, like many consumers, had in the back of her mind when she started looking for a new SUV. You kind of picture them being um, backroom places where they um, nickel and dime you and try to swindle you with extra undercarriage covering coating and in an effort to avoid having to go to a car dealership she turned to craigslist where she saw an ad for 2010 honda pilots i called the phone number and it ended up being for jim at auto search we really differentiate ourselves from the traditional car buying experience Steve Warner founded Auto Search USA about 12 years ago to help corporations purchase vehicles as part of their human resources benefits package. The company has since expanded to helping the general public. Steve says Auto Search USA adds integrity to the car buying process. We work as your advocate to help you make uh, the right car buying decision. Uh, we like to say you should be able to uh, buy a car and not be sold a car. At Auto Search USA, they help you figure out which vehicle best fits your needs in terms of safety and your budget. They gather different types of cars, then you get to take them on an unbiased test drive, something that won't happen at most dealerships. Um, if you walked into a uh, Toyota dealership, they're going to make sure that you, they're going to try to sell you a Toyota before you walk away from that dealership. Uh, and they're not going to tell you that a Honda is a good alternative or that a Hyundai is a good alternative. The best part? They bring the vehicles to you. After Lori test drove her top three picks, she decided she wanted a 2011 blue Honda Pilot. Auto Search USA found her exactly what she wanted. He saved us um, over $1,500 off of um, MSRP. He, he saved me countless hours of just trying to track it down and negotiate. That. Lori had the car within a week. So far, it's been a big hit with her and her kids. My son loves the sunroof because he's never seen anything quite so fancy. All right, we're going to introduce our guest in just a minute here from, uh, from the company Auto Search. But I want to say I'm not insinuating dealers are bad. There, no, are no. Many, there are many good dealers, and there are some bad ones. But the practice of buying a car has really not changed. Yeah. Okay. So we've got Steve Warner with us uh, with Auto Search USA, and actually, some dealers uh, you work with them. I mean, you sell the cars from their lots to explain the how. Doing. It, so that, that's it's, right. a, it's a good, you know, that's way what to work together. People need to know yeah. because how does he work? Does he buy the car and resell it? Do you simply introduce? Are you a dealer? Talk about yourself. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, there are some really good dealers out there, sure. and, and there are some that don't really have a lot of uh, ethics that we would uh, subscribe to in our business. But essentially what our business process is, is we work as an advocate for the consumer. We help them make an intelligent decision when they make a purchase of a new or used vehicle. And you don't have an axe to grind with any one or the other. You don't have a Absolutely. dog in the fight. No, no. Our, our job really is to be, uh, make the consumer more knowledgeable about their purchase. And we do that through different types of uh, communication with them and educational uh, type of seminars that we run both corporately and privately. The most important question. Does it add money to the transaction? It really does not. Uh, as a consumer may or may not know, there's a number of different ways that cars can be purchased. Uh, used cars, of course, uh, it's basically determined on the price that you can pay versus a blue book. Sure. On a new car, there are various levels of uh, finance monies that are available. There's hold, holdback monies that are available. And we use our services to look across the different uh, regions of the country to find the best incentives for a consumer. Uh, they might be in California on one type of car, and we can ship it here and have the consumer take advantage of the lower incentive or the higher incentives. Do you, buy the, do you buy the car and then resell it? Uh, on the used cars, yes. On the new cars, no. 
You know, so even though you're a licensed dealer, you just do the transaction, but you're not buying it. Correct. We negotiate on behalf of the consumer on the, on the brand new cars. On the used cars, we do purchase a vehicle from either lease return inventories, um, the cars that have come off from okay. uh, factory direct sale. And you're not just dealing with cars anymore. You've kind of expanded to motorcycles, yeah, exactly. RVs, yeah, we, any, any kind of Pretty much automotive. if it has an engine in it, we, uh, we can get it. We've gotten uh, uh, Greyhound buses for uh, large churches, and we've gotten, uh, we Very even know jet brokers, and we can uh, help people with those types of transactions too. Now, what if someone makes a decision of what they want, and then you bring it in and say, here it is, and they look at it and drive it and say, you know what, I just don't like it. Yeah, and that's a great point. What we do, we pretty much allow the consumer to come in, and when we advocate for them, help them make an intelligent decision on what kind of car they should be looking at. Then they come in, and we acquire the vehicle, and then there's absolutely no um, obligation for them to take the car. What we, about uh, insurance and that? Can you help with all that? We really don't do the insurance okay. types of things. Financing? Uh, we, financing, we do help them. And there's, there's three areas that consumers, that actually dealers can make money on cars. One is on a new car purchase. One is on a trade-in. One is on financing. We work with about 35 different financial institutions to make sure the consumer gets what's called the buy rate instead of having a rate that's marked up from the dealership. Now, here's something I have to say that's very important. Um, you can avoid with a broker the callback. <laughs> the callback, Paula. We've seen it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, because Paula and I have investigated a lot of these. You buy a car. What payment do you want, Mr. Martino? Oh, no problem. How much you want to put down? No problem. And uh, when do you want to take that car? Now, no problem. And they run everything, they sign everything, you're out the door. Three days later, you get a phone call. Mr. Martino, uh, looks like maybe we need a down payment a little more, or you need a co-signer, or your payment's going to go up. And you say, well, wait a minute. You already told me it was approved. Well, not really. What we said was, we're going to try to get you approved. <laughs> and you'd have to take the car back. Oh, and here's the bad news. If you don't go through with the higher payment or the higher interest, we're going to charge you for use of that car. Yeah. That's right. Now, Steve, you're that doesn't seminar. happen, right? That, that doesn't happen okay. with that. He's There's no surprises. He's having a seminar basically okay. talking about all of these things to really look for to help educate the consumer, right? That's correct. When we do teach those seminars, we want the consumer to take away from our session basically how to become a better shopper in the marketplace. If they choose to use us, fantastic. If they don't, they can walk away and certainly make a better deal on their own. All right. So if you'd like more information on Auto Search USA, find the perfect car for yourself at theperfectcar.com. Their number 303-247-9300, or there's a toll-free number, 800-810-0042, findtheperfectcar.com. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Thank you it. very much.